I'm going to be showing you how I cook my Filipino humba or a braised pork belly cooked in soy sauce. And I'll be only using all the ingredients available in my kitchen cupboard. So enjoy and watch the process. Thanks. So first things first, make sure that in making any dishes, you wash your hands. So I have here, I already cut the pork belly. It's approximately 600 grams of pork belly. I like to cut it like a little bit thinner and smaller so that it's easy to cook and quicker. Because I love to eat it straight away, hot. And then I for my ingredients, it's available in my cupboard. I have bay leaves, love to be generous with, with cooking in terms of ingredients and I love to have a kick on my humba or braised pork belly so I put um, chili, chilies here and I mince a, probably like 5 to 6 cloves of garlic and then 2 teaspoons of brown sugar and one to two teaspoons of black pepper or if you don't have black pepper white pepper would do and i also have three tablespoons of soy sauce and i already mix it in with two tablespoons of white vinegar well the white vinegar i've used is a filipino one which had already a little bit of spices on it but white vinegar would do and obviously an olive oil to do it and also i have a little trick which i use the sweet teriyaki i only put a little bit on it so it depends on how um how sweet you want it to be or the taste you prefer so i also have here um a mixing bowl which i will mix all the ingredients here to marinate first the cut pork so put it here together. So I put the pork, the diced pork belly in a mixing bowl. And I will pour the soy sauce with the vinegar. And I use gloves because I really want to um, Put them together I and mean, then mix them well together with my hand and obviously I want to be safe as possible so just mix it very very well and also add the pepper so if you can see here I've added the pepper and the garlic so just mix them well together so the flavor would really go into the meat inside the meat if you would like you can um, cover this and put this in the fridge for an hour or three hours but I like to cook it straight away especially if I am hungry or want to use it um, for tea so that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to mix this all like really well. And then I'm going to heat a pan and put them there. So that's the marinated pork. And then in a saucepan, I put oil just two teaspoon of oil make sure it's very warm I mean it's hot before you put the meat in and put it in a medium heat so in a medium heat I put the meat in the saucepan I use a saucepan because it's deeper and I like it deeper because I will put a little bit of water to it later and just cook it until it's brown
And once it's brownish, like in all sides, that you can't see any white meat on it anymore, then you can add all the remaining ingredients. So first, I will put just all of it there. And then just based on your taste, obviously, you can add more salt if you want. Taste it later. Then mix, mix them all together. And I want to leave it there like in a very slow heat. I like to put it in two, there, two, and leave it for an hour to like make it really, really soft. And I would add water to it. This is water, half cup of, of water. It was brown because it. I used the same cup where I put the suisses earlier. So, and... um. I would like also to add the sweet teriyaki, sweet teriyaki, just a little bit, okay, just that bit. It really depends on how you like the taste, if you like it more savory or sweet. I like it like it has a tongue on it and like the the sweet and the the sweet and the salt salty taste would be like balance so i'll leave it there if you need to add more pepper or salt you can just do it along the way so we'll just close this and from time to time we will open it and check on it And by the way, guys, I also added a little tiny bit of oyster sauce. Just a little bit. Okay, and let's leave this for an hour to make it really, really soft. And all that water absorbed. So we'll get back to this and while we put the lid on, we'll start cleaning. So guys, this is it after 30 minutes and if you can see, it's already soft. See how soft that is? You can consider this as a pork kumba or pork adobo, but it tastes like a pork kumba. And um, it's so soft after 30 minutes because I like it thin because it's just thin. It's quite soft and I like it a little bit um, with soupy because i love the soup putting put in a vegetable and rice together as my tea <laughs> and um that's why i like it a little bit soupy. so i'm gonna taste this and let's see how it tastes so let's see how it tastes like guys so that mm. super yummy like I said, it's already soft, but if you want it like really, really soft that falls off to your mouth, you can have it add additional half an hour. It's already half an hour. I only put it in half an hour because I want to eat now. But there's more left in the pan, which I left in a like low heat to number two to make it really um, soft. For later so thank you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below whatever um, recipe you want me to cook next time I might cook um, spring rolls beef thank you guys God bless bye hi you guys so that's 
the result after leaving it for an hour in the pan in a low heat if you can see it really caramelized and the sauce dried up and it looks like it's more brownish than when I took it out half an hour ago and if you can see the meat is more tender wait see it's tender more tender than half an hour ago it was tender but this is like like a, a mouth watering meat now so it's really worth to wait an hour or extra half an hour when I took it an half an hour ago so hope you make this and please tell me comment or email or message me and tell me how it was like for you and if you liked the in, the recipe the humba that I made and please comment below if you want me to make another recipes or another cooking video or whatever it is any request this is so yummy and enjoy guys see you in the next video god bless bye